Hey everyone, I just bought this piece of angle iron. That stuff is not cheap. Because I'm going to be using that to fix my wagon. You see the back of it right here starting to break? Eventually that whole thing's going to snap. So I'm just going to cut the angle iron between here and here. Sheet metal screw every couple inches. Tighten that up real nice. And as a precaution, I'm going to do the sides, too. That'll also help hold the screen in that's starting to come off. If I have enough, I'll put some on the front, but that's the least important part at the moment. The bottom's still doing good. I've been using this wagon for many years, and it's not rusting because it gets wet occasionally, sometimes covered in snow just because I'm moving things like that. But it always comes back into the garage, so it's out of the elements most of the time. Even though I got my garage door wide open, just having this thing running around me, this propane heater, it really makes a difference when it's really cold out, just having it in here aimed at my workspace. And it's pretty cheap to run. Right now that thing's running on low, and it'll go for 30 hours. To get a refill on that tank down there, it's about $18, so that's like... I mean, I'm I'm not going to be able to do this math perfectly, but it's like, what, 60 cents an hour to run this thing? And if I put it on high, it would be like just over a dollar to run it per hour. All right, so after taking measurements, the back part, which was the main goal, will be completely fixed. As far as the sides, I don't have enough to even do both sides. I'm going to come a few inches short. So what I did was the scrap after doing the back, I took that measurement, divided it by two, and that's just what I'm going to put on the edges. It's only going to come back to about here, but that's okay. As long as it's beefy in the middle, that'll make all the difference. So I'm going to cut there for the back, and that's where I'm going to cut for the sides. This was one side, but there wasn't going to be enough to do it perfectly, so I cut the difference. Here's a little tiny grinder. I got this thing for $9.99 like 10 years ago at Harbor Freight. It's still working, and I've done quite a bunch with that. These goggles are a little scratched up. They're not the best, but I'm going to wear them because safety glasses aren't safe when you're using a grinder. Little shards of metal will go right around them. You, you need something like goggles for that job. See that? Doesn't take long to make it safe. That was so sharp it can easily cut you. It only takes like 30 seconds of grinding on each cut to make it nice and safe. Alright, so I got this piece here. I don't want to put it this way, just because I don't want to diminish this thing's capacity by half an inch. So I'm going to put it this way, sticking out. And I have some sheet metal screws that are self-tapping. It should be able to go right through this thick piece of metal without me pre-drilling it. It should be able to. That first one worked perfect. It's self-tapping, went right through. Yes, I know the washer's not necessary, but I kind of think it looks cool.
nice and tight. All right, the railings on this wagon are nice and reinforced now. I think this actually looks really cool. Yep. You saw that one went along really smoothly, but you saw in the time lapse I had issues with this one because this one, it's very bent. So as I'm screwing in it, I have to hold this tight together. Then when I got down here, I had to pull a few back out because I noticed that not only is it crooked this way, but it's also crooked downwards. So I had to push down on the angle iron to get it to line up correctly. Out of all of these, I only stripped one of them. That's because I torqued it a little bit too much. Because on the other side of this thick stuff, this is pretty thin, the actual cart. So as it continues to break over time, I'm just going to keep fixing it until I... Determine it's a total loss. Eventually, when this bottom starts rusting through, I'm just going to take a whole bunch of slats of metal and just right across the bottom. That'll be nice. Now I want to put this thing upside down because there's a lot of play in the steering. Something needs to be tightened. All right, so it is either one of two things. One, I can tighten this a little bit and it'll stop. Or two, which I think it might be, is... The hole in this is, every time we pull it back and forth, it's banging back and forth, making the hole bigger and bigger. But there's also a good amount of space, so tightening up might solve that. Otherwise, I'm going to have to find a good, thick piece of metal. Not thick, but durable. Drill a hole through it, and then screw that a few times, so that can go through everything. But I'm hoping I can just tighten that up. These sockets aren't deep enough. They wouldn't work. But thankfully, I was able to find this. I couldn't find my bigger ratchet to be able to fit that size hole. So I just use a wrench to tighten it up a little bit. It doesn't tighten anymore. I, I believe the threads stop right there because it got really, really tight. And I didn't want to strip it. So for now, it's going to stay like that. It's slightly better, but... Next time I go to the hardware store, I'm going to pick up a couple of giant washers that we can go put in there to seal up that space. And I think that'll stop with this. I think all I really need is a big washer in there to close up that gap. Because when I'm riding this thing with a ton of weight in the woods, this hits the frame of the wagon. So every time you go over a bump, this hits it and it's like a brake. It's a pain in the butt. So I think a washer will make this stop. But for now, while it's upside down, let's grease up all these joints. All right, so. In there, in there. Bunch of it around in there. And as soon as I go in a couple minutes out to go and get some firewood, that'll really get worked in there. Get some in the other side. It's best to do it while the wheel's moving, but I just have a pretty awkward angle there. Oh, this one's got pretty bad balance, actually, this wheel. Thankfully, it's not a car. You'd really feel that at high speeds. In the back. Oh yeah, I never notice how bad the balance is on these wheels.
I'm gonna do this to my snow blower next time I bring it out, right before I bring it out. All good. I have an adjustable wrench in the house that's like maybe three times as big as this. It's for like a tractor or something. But take a look at this one. Tiniest one I have. There we go. First load of firewood with the fixed wagon. Thanks for watching, everyone. Have a great day.